Hello, welcome to Being Techie. In this session, I'm going to explain global exception logger in ASP.NET Core application. Using this class, we can have one place to log all the exceptions which occur in within a MVC application. You might know there is a concept of filters in ASP.NET. There are various types of filters and exception filters are one of them. So in the earlier versions of ASP.NET, we used to have HTTP configuration. So this configuration used to hold services, filters, and all types of collections, which provides the configuration to our application. And filters collection holds all the types of filters. So exception filters, these are called whenever there is an exception during a controller creation or an action call. And if you want to have one common place to handle all exceptions irrespective of the controller or an action, we used to put them in filters collection. But in the latest ASP.NET Core framework, we do not have the notion of HTTP configuration. It has been completely redesigned into a, a different framework with a startup class and a, a three different methods inside the class. And there is no HTTP configuration object available in th these three methods. So I'm going to explain how we achieve a similar functionality of having a common place where we can process our exceptions occurred any place in our uh, framework and perform or take certain actions based on the exceptions. And the kind of action I'm going to take in this sample would be just log that exception into our logging framework. So to demonstrate this, I've already created one sample application. This is a simple ASP.NET Core application with a default template and I made some modifications on top of it. And you might know inside this ASP.NET Core, MVC and Web API applications are treated one and the same. So I just used Web API to demonstrate this sample. So let's go to the startup class where we have set up our services and the request pipeline. Since I'm demonstrating the logging of the exception, I have already set up my logging framework for the application. I've used nlog here. If you want to know more about how to set up a logging framework in ASP.NET Core application, please watch my other video on logging framework. And I've used nlog here. There is no specific preference of and log over the other you can use any type of framework in fact you can use a, a console or a debug as well so let's create our global exception logger class and name it as global exception logger since we are just dealing with the logging of the exception It should be implementing an I exception filter. Let's add the required namespaces and implement the interface. All right, so it has one method which gets called whenever there is an exception inside the MVC framework or in fact inside our action methods as well. To log the message into the logging framework, we need to have a, a logger class. Let's create a logger class, a logger, and add the required namespaces. And logger class gets created using an iLogger factory. Let's instantiate the logger class inside the constructor. Create logger. Let's put a class name so that 
this is logged the class name is logged as well inside the log file and use the logger to log the exception dot we can either go for a critical or an error I'll put an error for now and the exception information is present in the context parameter of this method exception dot let's log a message for now so our global exception logger is ready we can pretty much do anything other than this logging but for now we just go with the logging and we need to tell the MVC framework to use this exception logger whenever there is an exception and how do we do that let's go to our startup class where we mention various services required for the our application and MVC is one of those services so since it is specific to MVC let's create one private method which is kind of a helper method to configure configure all the things related to MVC I services collection let's add the services which is an add MVC this method returns IMVC builder let's capture that builder MVC builder has a method which lets us add the filters into the collection add MVC options which takes a lambda expression and inside that lambda we can specify the filter to be added so let's add our new filter global exception logger but this logger requires a logger factory into the constructor we have a logger factory in our configure services so let's pass that logger factory instance to this configure mvc method i logger factory and pass that instance to our global exception logger so replace that add MVC with our new method configure MVC and pass the required parameters all right now our MVC framework knows about the global exception handler so to show whether it really catches the exception or not let's open up any of our endpoint and throw an exception for demonstration let's add invalid operation and the operation what we are adding is testing global exception logger All right. So let's debug this so before that uh, I'll just show where our logging file is present this is pretty much like configurable you can put any uh, path relevant to your application let's start the debugging okay now the X it hit the required endpoint and the exception throw has been called let's put one breakpoint in the global exception handler as well so that we know whether it is whether it will break or not in this particular method yes it did break at this place 
and the message is testing global exception logger. Let's continue this and we can verify inside that log file whether this has been captured or not. See, we have that global exception logger, the message, the testing message, whatever we have put in the endpoint. So this explains how we can have one common place to handle the global exceptions and log those exceptions or do any processing on those exceptions in ASP.NET Core application. And if you want to uh, look at this code, this is available in the uh, GitHub and the URL of the GitHub repository has been given in the description of this video. Hope you like this video. Please do share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.